Hello, hello, it's Brandy Janae. Thank you so much for tuning in with me today. In today's video, I'm going to be setting up my Hobonichi weeks for the week of January 2nd through the 8th, which is so crazy to say out loud. But anyway, here we are. So if you're interested in watching this plan with me, please be sure to stay tuned. So again, this is my Hobonichi Weeks that I'll be using for 2023. And so far, I love it. Like, I can't believe I love it because I just can't, but I do. So like I said, we're going to be setting up for January 2nd through the 8th, which if you've been around, then you know I already literally just like write in this. So anything that comes up, anything that happens, I just write it down and then kind of decorate it, decorate around it as, you know, we get closer to that week. So here is the current week for me. Today is Tuesday, the 27th. So it's still pretty early on. So I'm still kind of working on this spread. But yeah, I wanted to go ahead and sit down today and get this done so that... It just, it looks nice. I like writing in it more when it looks nice. So I do have this from Nightingale Paper Co. And honestly, I think this was like a mystery, like one of those mystery bundles. I don't know. I did an unboxing a while back, but I think this came from one of those mystery bundles. And so I decided that I am going to use it. I'm pretty sure it's for the Hobonichi kit, but I just thought it was super cute. Like the Hobonichi cousin. But I just thought it was super cute. So I'm going to go ahead and make it fit. So one of the things I started off doing was I cut down the date header. So they may not be perfect. But again, I'm pretty sure this is made for the Hobonichi cousin. So, but I did attempt to use my slice tool and cut these down beforehand. And I just realized that I forgot to grab date dots so ba -dum -boom. let me see do i have some friends date dots could literally be anywhere <laughs> let's see if i have some handy i got a bunch of stickers that i did not put away yet which is an epic brandy fail because I don't, I just don't like having stickers laying around. And then, oh my gosh, because then they pile up and then they fall over <laughs> when I'm trying to just find date dots. Okay. I really want one of those desks that like wraps around the whole world and you just have desks forever because I feel like mine is just never big enough. All right, so we'll just use these from Christy Marie Designs again because they're handy-ish and they're the first ones I found. So we'll go with the white ones. All right, I like that. Okay, so I'm gonna put the date dots on here. Uh, Wait, this one. So anyway, I hope that everyone is doing well. By the time you see this, it will be after, well, no, actually by the time this video goes up, it will be New Year's Eve. So wishing you an early happy new year if you do celebrate or, I mean, obviously it's going to be a new year regardless of whether you celebrate or not. So just well wishes to you. <laughs> in the new year but if you are going to go out and partake in any of the like new year's eve festivities i hope that you are safe and well and more importantly that you have a great time doing whatever it is that you choose to do i have not solidified any plans as of yet so your girl may be sitting in the house on the couch watching tv which 
well, more likely in my bed watching TV, watching YouTube <laughs> on my iPad because that is my favorite thing to do right now. So it's cozy, it's comfy, and yeah. And here it's been so cold, like cold, 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 cold. And my body honestly just does not respond well too cold so like since i've been home uh we didn't have work on thursday what was the date the 23rd because we got like this storm come in so they ended up like canceling school for the day so we didn't have work thursday which was supposed to be the official start of my winter break so anyway i literally have been inside uh pretty much since then like i did go out saturday because i had to run a couple errands which i made sure they were all like right next to each other and then my mom and my brother and my niece came in town to visit me and my son for christmas so i was like fine so i did go and like have dinner with them Saturday night which I'm like my body is still literally regretting that I did that because we froze y'all like it was so cold <laughs> Saturday night um and so but I did it and yay and then Sunday morning I was supposed to be going to church but the pipes in our church the I think the sprinkler system they said they burst so service was canceled which was very sad like I was already like uh church on Christmas like <laughs> I was already kind of feeling some kind of way about it and then they were like well we're only gonna do do one service and that's only because I like volunteer at church not because I just don't like going to church but I am one of the very few volunteers that we have in the media team. And so it's just like, you know, I want to sit down there and watch the kids do their Christmas play and, you know, all of those things. So, but anyway, so we, they ended up canceling church because of the pipes, which was very sad. Like that, that's sad. Um, so hopefully those will get fixed soon so that we can go back because I guess it like impacted the main sanctuary so it just wasn't feasible for us to go in that day um so but I know that they are working on getting that all fixed so that we are able to return which will be nice but I said all that to say going to see my mom and my brother load their cars up to head back home on Sunday is literally the last time that the only two times <laughs> that I've gone outside since Wednesday. So it has been very nice to just be home and enjoy my time at home. I have I would like to say that I've been resting, but I have not. I've actually probably gotten less sleep <laughs> than like I've gotten in a really long time just because I've been working on some new projects and I've started which you will see soon but I have started actually budgeting like I'm very proud of myself I have really started I created a budget planner well not created one I bought a budget planner from happy planner but I got it all set up I got my bills and stuff sorted out I have made cash envelopes so if you're not following me on Instagram go do that so you can see those but I have made cash envelopes I've made savings challenges I have made uh, like regular savings challenges and then I have monthly savings challenges and I'm setting my budget binders up like I am so serious and this entire month of December I have bought two stickers but only because someone else paid for them so I did buy my birthday sticker set from Black Mountain Plans which I'm not going to be ashamed about that because I need them my birthday's coming up in March so 
I don't feel bad about that. So I did get those ordered because I didn't want to forget. And then I also ordered from Black Mountain Plans. No, Black Mountain, okay. Black Mountain Stickers is the printable shop. So I did order some budget stickers for my budget planner, but that's printables and it was only like two bucks. I don't really, I don't really count that. And then from Black Mountain Plans, which is the printed shop, that's where I ordered the budget stickers from. Both of those are linked in the description box below. So go check those out because I do have coupon codes for you because me and May, who is the shop owner, are like super besties. So she was generous enough to not only offer me a coupon code, but to offer a coupon code for anyone else that is my friend. And you guys are all my friends. So the coupon code for Black Mountain Plans, which again is the printed shop, is Brandy10. So be sure to go and check that out ASAP. So right now I am just going and putting these lines in the boxes here because I do like for them to be a little bit bolder than they are at present. And in this box, I've really just been writing my like social media plans and not anything like super specific, but just as a reminder to like post something on Instagram or on these particular days, I want to post reels or, you know, just a regular post or whatever. In my Hobonichi cousin, I have written down like more specifically in the monthly spread. I have written down more specifically what I want to post on each particular day. And again, not like a big to do, but just something so that I can be a little bit more intentional about my social media planning. And then I do post which YouTube videos are going out in this section as well. So, but I like the pin. Brandy, here's your reminder. Oh, Remind all right. Okay, thank you. Brandy, here's your reminder. Alexa, stop. Okay, so apparently I said in a, a reminder. <laughs> I was like, what is that noise? Sorry about that. Um, so I don't ever do that. So it kind of like made me pause for a second. So yeah, as soon as I finish filming, I am going to do what she just reminded me to do so that I don't forget. But anyway, so I in here I put like on... How did I lose my pen? Okay, I love this pen because it is the multi-pen and pencil. So on Tuesdays, I like to do just a general, or Monday, sorry, general IG post. On Tuesdays, I do a reel, theoretically. On the 4th, which is Wednesday, I have an IG post and on the fourth will be a once more with love haul and this is something i purchased on black friday and on thursday i will do a real on Friday, post on Saturday will be a plan with me and my cousin. And then IG post. And then on Sunday will be some sort of post. All right. So that is just kind of how I do the social media section. I do have my to-do list here. It came with some check. Hmm. I thought I saw some check boxes. Apparently, oh, these. I don't really like those. Maybe I'll go for a full 
I never use these. Maybe I'll go for one of these. I don't really ever have too many to-dos. Oh, something is very crooked. And now we will find out if these stickers are removable. All right, if you do it slowly. <laughs> okay, so let's put line this up a little. Oh, whoa. I'm trying not to get my head in the shot. Hopefully my head is not in the shot. All right. Oh, I like that. I never use those. I like that a lot. All right. And then I don't, as of right now, know if I have any plans for Sunday. Normally I put like a day, like what I have to do for the day to do's here. And then, so this is like day specific and this is just like general to do. So I'm going to just leave that blank for now. I still haven't necessarily figured out what I want to put in this space. I do really like this weekend banner. And even though I typically don't use them, I really want to because I like it. Oh yeah, that is so cute. All right. And then I'm not doing any habit trackers because to be perfectly honest with you, I just really am not a good habit tracker. Um, oh, I am going to put this to remind me that my HelloFresh order, oh, wait, nope, I skipped HelloFresh this week because they wouldn't have gotten it to me, I think, until like Thursday, and I'm like, no. So, yep, never mind. I skipped HelloFresh for this week. Oh, I'm happy I said that out loud because that's going to remind me that I need to figure out what I'm go we're going to eat <laughs> uh, for that particular week. So let me see. Do I have anything else? Maybe I'll put this little grocery shopping Winston over here to remind me that I need to actually go grocery shopping. Like for real, for real. And then I normally just kind of buy like supplemental things to you know use in a conjunction with my hello fresh because i i really only cook two days a week sorry i'm still drinking coffee i really only cook two days a week because i don't like to cook so i cook two days a week and then we typically will grab something two days a week and then on the other days we just eat like just random stuff like it may be a frozen pizza or I'm a child so I might be eating a corn dog who knows so we just kind of grab random stuff on those other days so like that we have in the house so I just want to make sure like I have all of those things available I do go back to work on Thursday boo so I am going to put this little Winston sticker here because that's cute. Yeah, not happy about that. The kids don't come back until the ninth, but they're making us come back on the fifth and sixth for a teacher's institute, which is so whack, but such is life. And then I think that might be it for now. Like I don't really use any of these boxes or anything, so I will save these for other spreads. I just thought this kit was super cute, this whole like Beauty and the Beast thing. And then it's very wintry in color to me. So I just thought it was cute. And I really, really, really like the way that it turned out. And I'm happy that I was able to modify it for the Hobonichi Weeks. Cause I know, like I said, this is a cousin kit. So I do have all of these things. I'm gonna, this is gonna drive me crazy. It's not like I would ever use those little scraps anyway. So I do have these. Oh, wait. But wait, there's more. Because I can totally stick that up here like fake washi to add a little extra pizzazz. Okay, yeah, all right. Okay, anyway. <laughs> 
for real this time I'm done. So anyway, thank you guys so much for tuning in with me in this ridiculously long for absolutely no reason plan with me. I appreciate your support. If by some chance you made it to the end, go ahead and leave me a blue heart on the bottom and let me know what your new year's plans are since like i said this will come up on new year's eve if you catch this video after new year's eve or new year's day then let me know what you did i'm excited to know speaking of comments friends let me real quick so what had happened was <laughs> apparently i had my comments set on like the little privacy thing so i'm supposed to check them before they get go live whatever well, it kind of filtered in some strange way. And so I missed like I, literally probably 50 comments. So if you commented a long time ago and I didn't respond, my bad. Like I went through yesterday and responded to a bunch of them, but I literally had comments from like two years ago that I had never responded to. So Boom, boom. So yeah, if you left me a message, a comment or whatever, and I didn't respond, I'm so sorry. I took that particular feature off. So hopefully in the future, I don't miss any comments because rude. <laughs> I do like to respond when people say something. So I was just complaining yesterday, like, dude, no one ever leaves me any comments. Like, I don't understand. What do I need to do? What do I need to say? <laughs> And then they were like, you need to reach out to YouTube support and check on your stuff and see what's going on. And then, yeah, found them. So you may have gotten an influx of responses from me yesterday. I apologize, <laughs> but I did want to make sure that all of the comments were, were um, you know, responded to because, again, I think that's rude when you don't respond. So. I love that I'm like, oh, I'm done. And then I'm just going through adding little stickers while I'm talking. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Be safe, be well. Don't forget if you need me for an ear, I'm always here to listen. And I hope that you all enjoy your day. I hope that 2023 is absolutely amazing and that it comes in quietly and drama free. I will see you on the next video. Have a good day.